Hey there Bakugan fans, welcome back to Bakumentary, your go-to show for competitive Bakugan Battle Planet news, gameplay, meta reports, and more. I'm your host, Robosensei, and on today's episode, we'll be going over all the details we currently know about the biggest advancement in official Bakugan organized play, the Age of Aurelis pre-release. If you're new to organized play for TCGs or just don't know what a pre-release is, it's an event where local game stores are sent product for a game's new expansion early, usually a few weeks in advance, to host a tournament using the brand new product you've received as a method of letting players access cards from a new set before its release, hence the term pre-release. Today, we're going to be covering all of the info we've obtained from official Bakugan sources, as well as people running the events themselves, including the currently announced dates and locations of the events, cost, product distribution, tournament structure, and pricing. The first thing I'd like to cover is the currently revealed locations that will be hosting their events and the day that they will be held. Going off of this teaser image from the Bakugan Twitter, all of the currently announced events will either be held on Saturday, August 31st, or Sunday, September 1st. As of the weekend of August 18th, there are only 7 locations set up to host an Age of Aurelis pre-release event, with more locations to be revealed soon. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on my Twitter with the locations of the rest of the participating locations so that you can attend the event closest to you. First up is Collected Games in Fort Worth, Texas on the 31st, which will be attended by content creator Jet Kuso, along with Forbidden Squeeze Ghost Lights. Uncle Games pre-release in Bellevue, Washington on the 31st will be attended by Bakugan community member Toolbox24. There will also be another event at RIW Hobbies and Games in Livonia, Missouri on the 31st. King's Games in Brooklyn, New York will hold their own pre-release on September 1st and will likely be attended by content creator The Detective. The Otaku Nation event in Tucson, Arizona will also be held on the 1st and will be attended by Forbidden Squeeze Conquesador. The pre-release at Gail Borden Public Library in Elgin, Illinois does not yet have a confirmed date, so try to keep your weekend open if you're in that area. This event will likely be attended by community member Venomous Brass. Lastly, the only location to hold a pre-release on both available dates is Psycho Turtle Collectibles in Downey, California, who hosted one of the only other official organized Bakugan events earlier this year. Again, please keep in mind that these are not the only locations which will have a pre-release, and that I'll tweet out the rest of the updated list when it's announced. Next up is the pricing and what you'll get for your registration fee. The price point is resting at a hefty $40 US. This is a little bit steep compared to other games like Pokemon, where you'll likely be spending somewhere from $20 to $30 at most for their pre-releases depending on your venue. However, for your $40, bucks, you are provided with one of the three Bakugan Resurgence starter decks which retail for about $30, as well as an undetermined amount of Age of Aurelis booster packs. Going off of the last event somewhat similar to this, which was the sneak peek event near the beginning of the year, I'd like to assume that we'll be getting four boosters to modify our decks with for the tournament just as the influencers were for the sneak peek event. This leads us into our next section, which is the tournament structure and rules for the events. Currently, the maximum amount of registrations per event is 32 players, and the amount of rounds played will vary depending on the number of entrants. Players must build a deck using the cards from their starter set and booster packs that they were provided with. They are, however, allowed to bring their own Bakugan as well as Bakukors to use on your team. Rounds will be a best of one with an assumed 30 minute timer until top 4 or top 8 are determined, depending on the number of players. Top Cut will play in another best of one bracket to compete for prizes. Moving on to said prizes, the top 4 players after Top Cut standings will all receive one of the official Bakugan Battle Planet 2 player playmats. It is currently unknown if this will be the old playmat design with the deck and discard zones on the left, or the updated design introduced to Anime Expo with the deck and discard zones on the right. The tournament champion will also be sent home with a limited edition Dragonoid set along with their playmat. As of right now, we only know that there will be one of these limited sets available per event. Extra booster packs may be given out as a reward for participation or a prizes for top cut, but that is only speculative at this time, just like the amount of packs we'll have received during deck construction. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Unfortunately for me, I'm more than a 4 hour drive away from the closest pre-release to me, and that's not the kind of trip I'm able to make, so hopefully there will be one closer to me in the rest of the reveals. Stay tuned to my Twitter for any updates about the pre-release, as well as subscribing on YouTube for more insightful Bakugan content.